Alright everyone, welcome back to Curl Gaming, where we discuss all things video games. So, last couple videos were about Kirby, very simple platformers on the Switch. I'm going to throw another one on you, uh, Yoshi's Crafted uh, Land. Sorry, I forget the name of it. It's the Yoshi game. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound good at all. I'm just bring this up. I do have it. Uh, of course, that's why we're doing the video. But... Anyway, we're going to take a look at uh, Yoshi's Crafted Land. Uh, come on. Let's just see. I can't believe I messed this one up. Oh boy. My bad. So, Yoshi's Crafted World. Let's take a look at this. Um, I have played it and it falls in line with the Kirby videos. So with that being said, let's break into Yoshi's Crafted World and uh, come back and discuss. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Alright, welcome back. Hopefully you look like that look at Yoshi's Crafted World running on the Nintendo Switch. And I do apologize for botching that intro. I could have redone it, uh, but clearly I didn't. So, like I said, uh, Kirby, very simple gameplay. Uh, great for beginners uh, starting out. This Yoshi's game, even better. This time, instead of just going left to right, right to left, up and down, We've now thrown in a 3D element. Granted, it's not a full 3D element, but you can go into the foreground, background, and the Yoshi games really haven't changed. So you've got the jump. You can hold the jump to flutter a bit and get a little bit extra height. You can also eat enemies to get the eggs. And of course, you have the crosshairs to throw the eggs. Now, this has been a staple since Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World 2 on Super NES. That formula has not changed. What has changed are the visuals and some of the other stuff incorporating foreground backgrounds and opening up new paths. Again, this game is not super challenging and as you can see what I've done towards the end of the video, just go through 
and you collect stuff so the replayability is there Nintendo is king on replayability of their games so you go back to the bot oh now I'm looking for a couple of seagulls with no wings can you grab those for me I need six okay you go through the level try to pick off six seagulls with no legs oh I need the stingray and go through the level see if you can find them in the foreground and background hit the stingray one thing I like about this is when you're doing the collect-a-thons and you get everything as soon as you get that last one, hey, do you want to continue the level or do you want to end now and drop off what you just collected? I love that option. You don't have to play the entire level. Sometimes you will have to, but not always. And I love the options like, okay, I got my collection. I can exit the level. Done. And then you can go get another quest, I guess side quest, or you can just proceed. Uh, one of the reasons why I like the Yoshi game, or I guess Crafted World, is the fact that you can just either blow right through the game, or you can stop and do all these side quests and do the collections. Uh, and like I've mentioned, the game isn't really challenging, and even the boss fights, even the boss fights are fun and kind of intuitive, not super challenging. And even as you progress, the bosses do get bigger, they look intimidating, but they're not. It, it's Yoshi. These bosses are not intimidating in the sense at all, they, or they shouldn't be. So someone just starting out in video games or the younger crowd playing video games, I think they do the bosses so when they show up they're like, oh my goodness, I get to fight this now. Yeah, you do. It, it doesn't take very hard. You can figure it out pretty easily. And uh, yeah, once they figure that out and just progress, right? So I will give Yoshi that um, so as it's a, I'd, I'd say it's a starting platformer with 3D elements going forward and backwards. But would I put it on the same level as Kirby? Probably not. Yoshi is too cute. The fact that they use uh, similar stuff to like Woolly World, where he's like a fuzzy knitted Yoshi, like the cuteness is off the charts on this. Kind of makes you sick in some areas. Uh, and the Yoshi noises, all that fun stuff, and the simple kid music. So very appealing, very simple, not challenging. So with that being said, Yoshi was a full price game, and that onus would be on you. Would you pay full price for a non-challenging game? Something that you know you could go back through, uh, do the side quests. The replayability is there, but do you want a challenging game? It's going to be a toss-up, as is. Like I said, I do like this. Do I think it was worth the full price? I don't know. I'll probably have to play through it some more. Um, I have completed it back when it originally came out, but I didn't really go through and do the collection. Hey, I need this. I need that. I need this, which is fine. So, uh, Actually, that's another point. As you progress, you may not have enough suns to open up the other levels, and you will be forced, well, I don't want to say forced, but you will have to go back and do some of the collections just to get the the flowers and uh, open up the new levels. But anyway, with that being said, I do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do upload on a regular basis. And with that being said, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you.